Hi, it's Richard here from On Demand Education with part four of our ongoing series. Our first investigation in part four of What's New in Innovation Pack 2014 concerns the message broadcasting. Long-time Siebel developers and users will remember the scrolling message bar and will also remember the rather uh, lifeless icon uh, square color we had in the previous version. So let's go and see what it looks like in IP 2014. Administration communications, message broadcasts, gotta love this new timer. So I'm going to go ahead now and create a new message broadcast. I'm going to set it to all as the recipients. And I'm going to change the severity to urgent with alert. Save the record. And let's return to the home page while we wait for the new exciting effect. As you can see in the top right hand corner of my browser window, we have a new icon, the speech bubble, which has turned red to indicate urgent with alert, flashing, and the number one. It's much more visible in my personal opinion than the funny square box we had before. I go over to the icon, I click on it, I see in red text that I have a message, and I click on it and I see the text of the message. Again, more ergonomically pleasing than the strange pop-out double dialogue we had before, in my opinion. Chalk one up for IP 2014. Let's return to the same screen again. Returning to the same screen will add a non-urgent message this time. So this time our message is merely high priority. Return to the home page again and await the icon. Eagle-eyed viewers will see the yellow icon with the number one. And the yellow color scheme is shown, and I can read the text. You will observe now that it says previously read to remind me that I have read the red message. And there is an equally interesting and useful administration screen button which is called set as unread. So we can select a, rest, uh, a line and set it as unread, return to the home page, and once again after the delay, I have a flashing red message since my message was reset to being unread. Two points to IP 2014. In the next part of our investigation of what's new, a functionality that perhaps has passed me by, um, but looking at uh, a set of tasks that are going to be published in the end user interface, uh, we notice a couple of things. First of all, the compute percentage button. You may remember that when the first OpenUI release was announced, there was an explanation of a progress bar that was going to display the percentage of completion of a task. Well, this appears to be the implementation of that particular uh, functionality. While present in the server administration looking at component parameters, uh, draw your attention to a couple of interesting parameters that may not be new, but uh, they seem extremely useful. They are enable visual grid debug to highlight areas of problem in the layout of the HTML and enable log grid debug for debugging purposes to output the size of the applet and diagnostics about the layout. We'll enable both of these and restart our application in a moment and come back to them. Interesting to observe this message which appears during the loading sequence if your loading is quite slow uh, to remind us all that the proxy is now JavaScript based and that is the basis of the data interactions between the Siebel server and the user interface. Having now enabled those two parameters regarding problematic layouts and grids, we're going to log into Call Center, which was the application that we changed the parameters on, and we're going to navigate, for example, to the Accounts tab. And let's drill down on an existing account. 
immediately we can see in the form applet that parts of the layout have been highlighted the red presumably indicating that they are a potential problem. Navigating through Siebel, we can observe that it rapidly and frequently produces errors such as this one. So uh, clearly something is going on with those two parameters to be investigated. Mm. One small feature of the install which bears mentioning is that during it I was not ever asked to include or to insert a license key and when the installation was complete I found that there was a set of license keys already inside the seed data and therefore in my, in my uh, Siebel deployment which spares me the pain of having to install Siebel tools just to enter a license key. And on a final amusing note uh, another user interface feature. Let me click the query icon. You will observe this strange sort of stalker icon. This is the query assistant. Um, I don't quite see the connection. Somebody looking over my shoulder perhaps, a shadowy figure in the background whispering in my ear how to use the query. Anyway, see you tomorrow for part five of our What's New in IP 2014. Until then, take care.